YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're gonna create a simple interactive button in Swift UI. A button is something you're gonna need all the time, so it's important to at least know how it works and how you can create one. So I'm gonna show you a neat trick here with Swift UI, and not really it's Swift UI, it's just Xcode. But let's say I create a button called click me here, right? What I'm gonna do is press command and click on this text view. And I'm gonna just say embed this in a button. Now we're gonna get something like this, but I want to change this from on trigger to action because that's pretty much in the definition of Swift UI. So once you do that, you're gonna get this nice little button effect you can see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You're ready to rock and roll. But what I want to do is something like this. So I'm gonna change this my state variable from something to press this button and I'm gonna change this to text string, right? Just so as to show you how this thing works. I'm gonna pass this text string just like this and you can see it pretty much made no change at all. But I want, what I want to do in the action is, action is pretty much what happens when you tap on that button. What I want to do is I want to say string is you pressed it, right? So now what happens is if I go ahead and play this out. So let me just resume this. So what's happening here is that I have a state variable called text string, which holds this press the button below. And I'm just showing this inside a text view. And I've got a button with an action which changes this text string, which is a state variable, remember? So when I go ahead and click on this button, you see we get you pressed it, and it kind of looks compressed. Kind of not sure why, but what we can do is just move this press the button below here. And uh, what I'm gonna change this text string to click click me and I'm gonna pass this as the text string here and I'm gonna say wow amazing right here right and I'm also gonna say that dot let's say if we can get here disabled and I'm gonna say this is disabled if my text string is in fact click me right all right, or not really click me, but actually, wow, amazing. Because that's when we know that we have already clicked the button. All right, so once we are back here, you can see I can just pretty much click on this. It changes to wow, and um, it pretty much just cuts off the amazing part because the dimensions of the button were already calculated. So we pretty much need to update the button frame again and do some stuff like that, but I'm just gonna leave that for now. And we could pretty much see that we have changed the button on click and it's disabled now because it, the, well, the text is, wow, amazing, right? So yeah, that's pretty much how you're gonna create a, an interactive button. And uh, pretty much what would be a good use of this is could be a form where you click the button and you want to disable it once it's clicked so you avoid multiple requests to the server or any case, any use case you can think of. So yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And uh, yeah, there's a lot in Swift UI to learn. So that's all for this one. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.